G'day, g'day. I'm an indie dev who's developing their Game Jam game into a Steam release. Let's take a look. The demo world I'd been using uh, was fine for testing purposes, but one thing I was having trouble with was creating the exact structure of the world that I wanted. If the, if the pieces, for instance, didn't exactly match the uh, components that I had, I found it very hard to design the world with the layout that I want. So continuing on from last devlog, I spent a lot of time working on systems for the game. So I created a little tool called Foundation Builder, which inherits from Path3D. It works a little like this. We drag a new foundation in, we give it a Curve 3D, uh, add some points. I like to have everything going at 45 degree angles to keep in theme um, with the assets that I've already got. Let's close the curve. Um, to ensure that everything is exactly on a 45 degree angle, I have this fixed curve button which aligns everything to 45s. Then we can pick a material. So let's uh, have grass, grass on the top, and let's have uh, sand on the sides. Let's make the shape of the sides look a little something like this kind of shape. And Let's look at this. Uh, let's make the height maybe uh, 1.5 off the ground. Then we can click generate and we end up with a, a little surface which has got grass on the top and um, sand sort of raising it off the ground. As you can see, I've got a few issues with the geometry in certain points, but for my purposes, this seems to work quite well. I can go, oh, I really want this land to be a little bit bigger. And, one direction so I can just drag these points out click generate again and then I've got a different shape um, so that that took uh, quite a while but it's been super helpful in building the world that I'm trying to create for this game so with that in place I was able to create uh, a world with using the assets I've already purchased and this foundation builder as you can see I've got a few different um, few different instances of the foundation and it, for my purposes it works very well uh, I don't have any, I have basically no skill of Blender and um, not much of an artist, as I've mentioned, but this helps me sort of create the structure of the worlds that I really, uh, that I would like to create and, and in a quick and easy way. Even these elements here are created out of this foundation builder tool. So that took a while and uh, the other work I've been doing is populating the first area of the game that we can see here. A bit of a village, some areas raised, some areas on the beach. Um, but yeah, plenty of puzzles that can be made out of this area and plenty of NPCs to put in to create story. Another thing which has helped create this world is this viewport I added at the top. So while I'm editing the level, I can move the player around, uh, not quite as like it is in game. So it allows me to m quickly move the character into positions and different camera angles to test what the geometry looks like uh, and make sure that we can see what we, sh what we need to see from certain angles. So for instance, here we can't see all the way across the bridge, creating a bit of tension um, to move forward. I'm sure there are other ways to do this, but this is just uh, what's working for me. Um, let me know if you know a better way. So let's take a look at what it looks like in game. Similar to before, we're the chicken, we, we walk around. This is kind of our home where we're born. As yet, no NPCs around, but I'll have some by the campfire over here. We walk into the first area, a bit of signage. This will tell us what we can and can't do. There's a gate in the way and the initial puzzles will be sort of locked to this area. There'll be things in your way to get up to the top of this structure uh, and then you'll be rewarded probably with some more letters or maybe another NPC. At which point you will be able to know what you need to know and do what you need to do to get through this gate which currently just lets you walk through. <laughs> um, camera angle again to try and give a bit of a view of what the village looks like and the alternate paths you can take. Can go down this uh, back alley we'll call it behind the houses um, this is going to be an area where you can practice your moves that you get like jumping and um, climbing and double jumping and eating and rolling and whatever other moves we add to the game uh, i don't want it to be too platforming heavy but i thought it'd be nice to have a little playground area to get used to it and probably some rewards get choices on where to go so the game's opening up a bit more than what it was before out to the beach um, series of palm trees which when I set them up will be uh, either climbable or jump 
jump onable, jump onable, that's a word. Another puzzle going here. At the moment, these lily pads are just floating, but the plan is to have them um, sort of from that water down below that you have to raise the water up, and then you'll be able to get across to here into what's hinting at a bit more of a forest area, a bit, a bit more um, danger coming our way. And this will be sort of the end of the, the, the intro area. Still a lot of puzzle to flesh out and I've just walked through it in a minute or two, but I, I envisage that taking at least half an hour for new players to get through and, and that will be the intro to the game. Then the rest of the game will progress after this. But for now, that's all I've got. Thanks for coming. See you later. Have a good one.